all right new camera <laughs> so why not let's do this all right we have ourselves a brand new story time we need to introduce and we are well overdue i'm sorry have you guys ever been sick to the point you felt like crap yeah i feel like we all been there so without a further ado let's jump right into this story shall we wait make sure i hair nice i had good i think i hair is good all right we ain't gonna worry about it nobody likes being sick we're just gonna say that because if you enjoy being sick nine times out of ten there's something wrong with you but we're just gonna say that i'm sorry but i have yet to meet somebody who enjoys being sick sure it's all fun and games you get to stay home sleep you don't get to go to school you get to call out sick from work all the above but ladies and gentlemen but nothing really fun comes out of being sick we always do our best to you know avoid it at all costs because ain't nobody trying to feel like that so with that being said this story takes place during my sophomore year of high school till this day i still remember this story like it was yesterday i woke up feeling like complete trash ladies and gentlemen my voice was done my throat was hurting like there was no tomorrow it was raspy it hurt to talk pause on this when i felt my throat feeling like this i already knew i was getting sick so what did i start doing i started eating hogs i started drinking soup i started doing everything in my power to make sure i did not get sick but did that help obviously not or else i wouldn't be telling this story today now would i no it did not help ladies and gentlemen i i can reassure you this it did not help for the entire day i was feeling like complete trash then fast forward to the next day it gets even worse not only do i have a sore throat still now i got the sniffles now with the sniffles everybody knows come runny noses with runny noses comes what exactly sneezing so now we have the sniffles we got sneezing and we have coughing and now we all know that with these three elements combined is a recipe for disaster and it just got worse from here on out ladies and gentlemen now we have a sore throat now our voice is being even worse because now we're coughing it's it's not getting better we have our water water isn't helping we have our halls halls isn't helping so now what do you think is our next best solution you guessed it medicine did the medicine work? Obviously not! Because I would not be telling this story if it worked. You know what I did? I had to deal with it. Now I'm thinking to myself, this sickness is gonna pass within a week tops. I was sadly mistaken because it did not last a week at all. The first week goes by of me being sick and I'm still not feeling any better than what I was originally feeling. It wasn't it. I keep coughing. I'm get bringing up mucus. It's disgusting. I know y'all don't want to hear this, but it was disgusting. Very, very terrible. Yes, I know. But this story must be told nonetheless. So let's continue. <laughs> so... I would think, okay, after a week, I would start to feel a little bit better. It did not happen. Now the sickness is getting even worse, ladies and gentlemen. It is getting 
worse. Now, every time I cough, if I cough too hard or too much, we have a big problem next. And this rarely happens. But now if I cough way too hard and too long for too much, now we're puking. It is beyond me. I don't know why, but here we are puking. We didn't puke in school, thank God. But when we got home and we coughed and we couldn't control it, it was a mess. I don't know why I was puking. And it just didn't get better. Every time I coughed too much, puke. Coughed again, too hard, puke. It was like, it started becoming a sequence. Ladies and gentlemen, it started becoming a sequence. Cough too hard, cough again, puke. Cough, cough, puke, cough, cough, puke. Sneeze, cough, puke, sneeze, cough, puke. If there was a pattern, I wasn't following it. I didn't like it. I just didn't want to be sick anymore. I decided to come up with a solution to my sickness. I said that if I'm going to constantly keep coughing and I cough too hard and I puke, I have the perfect solution for this. I'm going to bring this giant bottle of water 1.5 liters to be exact. Yes, I remembered. Why do I remember it? I don't know, but that's not important. I always brought to school a 1.5 liter water bottle. So that way I can help suppress the cough and help my internal organs feel better. And did it start working? Yes. Yes, it did. So now I have been sick for at least a good two weeks, close to a month of being sick. You would have thought I would have go to the doctor, have the doctor check my temperature, make sure I'm doing okay. I ain't got nothing too bad, nothing too serious. But did I do that? Absolutely not. Because why would I go to the doctor and for what? Why do I go to the doctor? Because I'm sick. That, that defeats the purpose of going to the doctor. You go to the doctor when you need something serious taken care of. I was not needing serious attention. I was fine. So, after using my method for a good couple weeks now, it's been two weeks, almost three weeks of being sick, and I'm actually starting to feel a lot better. I'm becoming a lot more energetic. Everything feels wonderful and we're getting back to our normal self. As to what sickness I had, I, to this day, still don't know what it was. Probably was a bad stomach bug, stomach virus, I don't know. But what I do know is that I was sick for a very long time, but then I got better. And that's why I'm here today to tell you the story and why this story is being told. Moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, do your best not to get sick because although you can just stay home and skip school, take a day out of work or whatever, being sick isn't it. There's a lot worse. It gets a lot worse. So just do everything in your power to make sure you don't get sick. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace, fade to black.